is 3D printed material safe for aquariums? That's a little bit complicated. Um, I was doing some research and I came across a few different answers to this. And some of them are a little bit different than what you might think they're going to be. Um, we're going to go ahead and go into detail about what kinds of filaments you can and can't use. Um, based off of my research anyways. And uh, we're going to run through a couple prints that I want to do. Um, stick around to the end and uh, I'll show you the exact filament that I'm using to create my prints for my aquarium. So let's get into it. Based off of the research that I found here, there's a few different answers. Um, first thing that I found is the general consensus is yes, you can use 3D printed filament for aquariums. However, that does come with a caveat. Most places do claim that regular PLA, or a lot of people will say food grade PLA, is completely safe and won't do any damage to your fish or your fish tank. That being said, what I have found is that um, a lot of these websites that are making that claim are also saying that a lot of colored filaments are toxic because of the coloring and chemicals that they use to make those cool colors. So, something like a uh, silk dual or tricolor filament might not be the best for your fish tank because once it starts breaking down, then you're going to start getting those toxins released into the water. One workaround that I have seen mentioned a lot is to go through and just waterproof it. So, um, you know, get something from Home Depot or probably Hobby Lobby, I'm sure. Um, and uh, just waterproof it, and that alleviates all your issues. So let's do a quick search here. So how to waterproof 3D prints. Apparently layer smoothing can help. Um, and let's see, so I'm seeing do epoxy resin and wax. That doesn't sound anything like what I have been looking for. Waterproof it, seal it, figure it out. Um, now, what I have discovered a lot of these websites saying is that if you use PETG, that that's completely, basically waterproof. Uh, it's not gonna break down in the water, and um, it's basically, I believe, water repellent is the uh is the terminology that i found on this um so that's what i'm gonna go through and do today is i'm going to do a print out of pet g material um now right now i uh i've just recently set up a small aquarium for shrimp uh, i do have a couple small fish in there as well um but that's what I am working with here. So we're going to do just a little shrimp cave here. I think these guys are going to dig that. I got some ghost shrimp. Let me know if you guys have any ghost shrimp as well. Or what you have in your aquarium that you want to do prints for. So this is a cool little shrimp cave. Um, it's going to be awesome for my shrimp because they are see-through. So whenever you're using darker colors, that helps you see them a little bit better. Um, so we've got that downloaded, and this is just from Thingiverse. Um, I'll drop a link to this particular file down below if you're interested in that. It is a free file. Uh, so we're going to go into Bamboo here, and I am using Pet G, not Bamboo though. Generic pet G, there we go. And then um, one of the things that I read also is that you want to have um, as few layer lines as possible 
bear in mind we're not trying to keep this thing watertight this is going in the water so that's not going to be too big of a deal but let's go ahead and open this bad boy up shrimp where what did i what did this download as aquarium shrimp cave And of course, we have to unzip the file. There we go. And there we are. I don't see anything in here that looks like it particularly needs supports, so we're not going to worry about doing that. Um, I think I am going to do... All right, first one wasn't working, so we've moved on to this dome guy which I think I'm gonna do two of these. I'm gonna do one for my shrimp tank and one for my turtle tank. Um, we've got four hours, two minutes. Let's go through here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. And we're gonna print that. And This is the worst part about the bamboo, is waiting for it to send the job all the way through the cloud service. If you know, you know. Let me know down in the comments if you know. Alright. I'm not going to sit through this. I went through and adjusted and uh, printed out the little uh, shrimp enclosure, but I did do some modifications to it. So um, it is a little bit different than what I initially had anticipated. Um, once I got that printed out, and I did print it in multiple layers so that, um, you know, the shrimp and the fish are able to go throughout different little parts of this thing. Um, I figured they would really enjoy that. And for the most part, I was right. Next thing that I did after printing it, I did go through and rinse it off first, um, let it sit for a little while uh, in the sun, um, bake off, you know, all of the, uh, just the excess chemicals that are going to come from when you print it out. Uh, you can see I had to smoosh my turtle out of the way here and got this kind of buried into the substrate a little bit, and that way... The turtles don't kick it around too much because I do have two turtles in my aquarium and they do like to kick stuff around quite a bit. So added a little bit of substrate on the top here, even though pretty sure it's going to get a lot moved into it. And uh, you will see that that does change quite a bit from where it currently is. Um, now this is one of my shrimp that I have in here. Uh, mainly I did put this in here so that the shrimp would have something that uh, they can feel safe in. Uh, if you do keep shrimp at all, you know that they like to have a lot of hiding spaces. Um, with the turtles in the tank, I can't really keep live plants in here too much. I do have a moss ball and it looks like we got some trouble coming here. And he does not even care. Almost steps on this guy. These turtles do not care about anything that's in the tank. Um, it's kind of funny because most turtles um, are are going to attack anything that's in there because they want to eat it. Um, these guys are pretty mellow, though. So This is a day or two into having this in here. You can see turtles napping in front of it, and shrimp is just hanging out right in there. I don't know if you can see it, just right, right here. And the fish don't seem to mind it at all. Um, every now and then they'll go through and they'll play in it. Um, but they, they don't get too much of an impact out of it. They don't really care too much. 
and uh, just letting you kind of look at my shrimp. You can see I've got on this little Java moss ball here hanging out. And um, there's another one inside the barrel here. He's very difficult to see. I don't know if you're able to see that from the uh, video. My tank's a little cloudy as well. I was having some issues with my feeder uh, going off unexpectedly, so um, shut that down, waiting for the tank to just kind of cycle itself out. That's why it's a little cloudy at the moment. But this is, as of today, uh, two weeks of having this in here. You can see we've got a fish on the left side here, and it's very difficult to see, but there is a shrimp in there on the right side as well. Um, so you can see no harm done to the fish or to the shrimp at all. All right, and if you've stuck around to the end, this is the filament that I am using. It is the TPOIMNS PETG filament. Uh, the one that I was using is Army Green. I don't see that on Amazon anymore, so I don't know if that's still available or not. I will put a link to this filament down in the description and pinned in the comments below. Um, so if you do want to pick some of this up, make sure to check this out. Um, another thing that I will leave you with, um, a lot of the sites did say that you want to be using clear filament. So I will leave you with one of the clear filaments that I use. Okay, this is the Sunlu clear filament. Um, this one is an awesome one to use if you want to use just regular PLA filament uh, for your tank. Uh, maybe you don't use PETG. Um, so clear filament is going to be the way that you want to go if you don't want to use PETG. Uh, make sure to test it out. Make sure to clean it off. Um, I will put a link for this down below as well if you do want to get some of this to put in your aquarium. All right, guys, uh, leave me a comment. Let me know if you have stuff in your aquarium, how it's worked out for you, or if you're putting, if you're planning on putting anything in your aquarium, let me know what you're going to print out. All right, thanks, guys.